All right. So let's get started. If you have taken my previous courses, I briefly mentioned that the business intelligence stack mainly consists of three parts. This is actually the third part. So let's rewind a bit. BI stack can be categorized into three sections. The first one, I call it as the database stack. This is where we discussed common database tools and learned what are databases, tables, how to write a query and store procedures, etc. We used SQL Server. If you want, you can refer to my two courses on databases, the basics and the advanced courses. The second is what I call as extract, transform and loading or ETL. This is the part where we move data from one place to another. Example, Excel to a database or CSV file to a database. Data massaging is also a part of the ETL process. We saw a specialized tool called SSIS or SQL Server Integration Services. If you are interested, you can have a look at that tool too. And there is a course which I have recorded. The third and the final part is what I call as visualization and storytelling. With so much of data and tools around you, can you tell a simple story of what the data is telling you? This is where we discussed visualization tools that help you tell a good story. We used a Microsoft tool called SQL Server Reporting Services or SSRS. Now we look at another visualization tool, which is very common in the industry. This is called as Tableau. So people often ask me, why Tableau? Well, in today's world, because of advancement and tools, you no longer have to spend time and resources on writing custom ETL to grab data from various sources just to visualize them and create some reports. Tableau does a terrific job of grabbing data from 30 plus data sources without you having to know coding and other sophisticated tools. You can have your team actually focus on building reports instead of figuring out data warehousing stuff. So what can you expect in this course? Well, you can expect me to walk you through absolute basics of Tableau and creating some sophisticated reports and finally deploying them as well. At the end of this course, you will be equipped enough to start working in Tableau in your respective jobs. If you want to know more on different job area, interview areas and tools used across the industry, I have provided some article links in the resources section below. All right, so let's get a little more deeper. So in short, Tableau is a business intelligence tool for easy visualization and analysis. So Tableau offers the tool in many flavors. You have Tableau Reader, Tableau Public, Tableau Server, Tableau Online, Tableau Desktop, and so on and so forth. So don't worry if this is getting a bit confusing. All you need to know currently is that Tableau Desktop is the most versatile tool for creating and authoring reports, and we will be using the same. In due course, I will be discussing the other flavors of Tableau as well. In order to get started, download the latest 14-day trial version of Tableau Desktop. I have given the link below. The installation is super simple. I would also encourage you to read the resources and materials I have provided as additional learning materials. All right, so once you have done all these things, sit back and relax as I take you into the wonderful world of Tableau.